Hey guys, it's Poochie. We're going to check in with uh, Betsy and Justin in a few minutes and see what sold. They're going to pull some orders of what sold on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, etc. But uh, here's what I want to talk about today. It keeps getting brought up how many sellers are leaving eBay, uh, which is really interesting because some people are keeping their eyes focused on the prize and are doing really, really well, including this person. Uh, she said she has been, she works full-time jobs. She does reselling uh, part-time uh, in her spare time. And she just bought this. Yeah, she bought a house. She bought a house. That is awesome, congratulations to her. That's why I wanna talk about not quitting in today's video. Let's get to it. Hello, we are back with another pulling video of things that we sold on Macari and eBay uh, within the last 24 hours. So um, the first thing is in box FQ5956. This one is a Mitchell and Ness uh, um, Atlanta mm -hmm. Falcons. Uh, Deion Sanders, number 21 NFL jersey. And this one sold for $63 plus shipping. Um, it's one of the throwback jerseys of his. 5956? 5956, five, five, yeah. And this one we got in a mystery jersey bundle. Good job. Okay. And then, oh, mystery jersey box, sorry. I said bundle because the next item, we actually um, sold three of them in a bundle on Macari. So in box FI5654, so there's three shirts that sold. You have F I. And then F J. The other two are in F J. So this person they ordered three shirts. One is Leonard Skinner. One is Steve Miller Band, and one is Pink Floyd. And for the whole bundle. Um, it sold for $52 for all three shirts in their bundle. So I don't have the breakdown of each shirt. 5642. 5642? Five, yeah. Yep, so that one is the Leonard Skinner one. That's a cool shirt. So that's one of them. And then the other two are in box FJ. And these are um, also, again, we get bales um, and it's just a mystery bale. We don't have any idea what's in it except for just, we know, like we order a bale of t-shirts. <laughs> mystery. Um, 5609 and 5611 are the two you're looking for. So like I was saying, we don't ever know exactly what we're getting in, but we can order like t-shirts or denim or, um, you know, sports apparel, jerseys, shoes. Um, but this one I think was just in a regular like t-shirt mystery bale that we got. This one is kind of ripped up a bit. Yep, that's it. Steve Miller Band. Yep, there's one. And then, um, is that one 5609? Yep. And then the so other one? 5611. So it's going to be the Pink Floyd Ring RT. Yep. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a cool shirt. Okay, so those are the three that that person ordered in their bundle for $52 plus shipping. And then we will move on. So back to today's topic, we're talking about 
uh, not quitting, how a lot of people are quitting. Reso, uh, One Foot Flipper just did a video recently and I commented on it. He said, yeah, you got to keep your eyes on the big picture. A lot of people are quitting even after they've been selling for 20 years because you have to keep your eyes on the big picture and you have to have a thick skin. Okay. You, what, as an eBay seller, especially an eBay seller, you have to have the philosophy that sticks and sounds, right? They'll break my bones, but words will never hurt me. If someone attacks you, if someone does whatever, water off a duck's back, keep your eyes focused on the big picture. There's a lot more really good customers than there are jerks. The jerks, we tend to remember more, but there's a lot more really good customers. So what do you want to focus on? You want to focus on the fact that you're making money. You want to focus on the fact that... Uh, the few people that are jerks are not really that bad and just stay at it. Just don't give up. Let's uh, have a look back at the warehouse and see what uh, kind of stuff sold for us. Let's do the shoes. So these shoes, they're in box A104. I need to figure out where A104 is. It's right there on the top. So these shoes, we got these shoes from a mystery shoe box that we got. It's those Nikes. Yep. These shoes, we listed them not even 24 hours ago for $230 and took an offer of $200. They sold in less than 24 hours. Um, and so yeah they sold for two hundred dollars plus shipping what a time to be alive in less than 24 hours that is pretty freaking cool Oops. and that paid for the entire box of shoes <laughs> that we ordered and uh more <laughs> so that was a very good sale so back to the topic uh if you have to deal with one jerk a week, let's say. One jerk who is just the rudest, meanest, most awful person in the world, one a week or even one a day. Is it worth it if this is the end result? I would say yes. In two years, this person kept to the grind she kept her eyes on the prize just kept going at it kept going at it works a full-time job as well and does this in her spare time and is buying a house or bought a house for her family that is not only life-changing that is that can change generations of a family uh take them out of you know renters into hey this family owns a house. We are homeowners and I can give it to my children and my children can give it to their children. So reselling, if you can have thick skin, stay at it, learn and keep a positive attitude, uh, it really can make not only a difference in your life, but in your family's life. So don't give up. Stay with it. Um, you can do it. You can do it. So it's, uh, you just have to look at the big picture and the rewards, if you do it right, are going to far outweigh the negative things about reselling. Let's check back in at the warehouse. So AT and it's 3746. And this one is a True Religion World Tour black logo t-shirt. And it sold for $10 plus shipping. Three, seven, what? Three, seven, four, six. So this True Religion shirt sold for $10 plus shipping. Then we also, in our other warehouse, we sold a Pacific Megadeth um, t-shirt that sold for $11.89 plus shipping. We sold a Marvel comic book, um, like a graphic novel. 
I believe that was in our death pile for a while. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And then there's a Route 66 um, light blue t-shirt that sold for 15 plus shipping. And other than that, we just have a few questions that we have to answer and we are done with our orders for today. So thanks, Justin. <laughs> See you next no time. Thanks for watching. So basically reselling is a hobby for me, uh, but it is a great hobby and it is actually a hobby that I love doing and I love, uh, I make money at it. So it's like a hobby that I love doing and make money at it. I'm not sure how much better it can get than that. It uh, makes up for all the negatives, not only on um, selling platforms, if I have a really, really rude customer or really rude person that I have to deal with, but also negative comments on social media, YouTube, like this. Um, but I, I just love doing it. And I actu actually have one, two, four houses at this point a lot of a lot of people who you know do this uh they buy cars i don't do that i buy houses because it's a really good investment so uh it can happen to you too i'm just saying just work hard and stay at it buy low sell high and of course subscribe if you want to help the channel please share this video on social media uh it does help us a lot i appreciate you guys as always See you next time.